YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Oski the Barber back in the building. Coming to you fresh, high taper. You know how we do. Get it fire. I start by picking the client's hair out. He really doesn't want anything cut off, but I convince him to cut a little bit off. We're just gonna shape it up. I go in with my wall seniors, no guard, of course, to mold the scalp and sculpt it out. I really like this technique because uh, versus using a guard because using a guard it kind of snags it will get it it will get it down to that desired length but this proves to be more effective and more faster for my technique and for most barbers I know I go in in the front making sure I got it all leveled out making sure I can give him that desired mold that he likes And this client isn't too picky. I have a lot more clients that are way more picky. But this client, he 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 come he comes in and he knows what he wants. Sometimes I get I get a lot of clients that just tell me to to do what I would do, you know. And I just do what I do. You know, I love that. I love creating a new a new experience for them, a new look for them, giving them confidence. That's what this game is about. As you can see, I continue to mold around. All right, here I go in with the shavers up under the ball guideline that I made. I like to clean it up with the shavers after the trimmers because it gives it a smooth, smooth look. You know, you have you have those clients that have like the bumps and whatnot, but for, for the majority of the part, the clients I cut, they have smooth skin. I go in, no guard, lever open, created my first guideline. Making sure I get it symmetrical and make sure I get that right gradients. I go in with the one guard open, making sure I get that dark gradients because I'm going to start to down fade after this. Cleaning it up. And it's important to use the, the, the corners of your clipper because that will be most effective for a haircut. All right, also I go in, knocking the front taper line down. Making sure I get it at the desired length. This will help you a lot in the shape of it. When you start edging him up, it'll, it'll go smooth. Creating my ball guideline in the back of the neighbor. As you can see, I'm using the Evo Ergo. Creating my first guideline, lever open. Making sure I get it symmetrical. The cleaner the, the cleaner your haircut is, guys, the cleaner your whole fade will be, your whole taper will be. Your haircut will look so neat. And this is what the client is looking for. Sometimes they don't know how to ask for it, but we as barbers should know how to style somebody's head. You should you watch plenty enough videos to remember this is how the haircut is supposed to look. If you envision the haircut first, you will be able to achieve the haircut. And on the sides of the back of his neck, I like keeping that dark because when you shape it up, you don't have to use any type of enhancements afterwards. As you can see, I'm going in with the one and a half. I, I just went in with the one. I'm sorry I was running my mouth. But yeah, I'm flicking out. I'm flicking off the head is what I'm doing. I'm not digging. I'm flicking off the head. So I'm, it, it's taking micro hairs little by little. Making sure I get as closest to the ear as possible because I don't want to have to deal with a whole bunch of difficult hairs behind his. And, and then that irritates the client also that you keep digging in one spot. So you need to learn how to attack it and move on as to keep the client comfortable. Yes sir, it's coming together, it's coming together. Y'all see it, y'all see it, coming together. Now I'm just doing a little bit more detail work 
in the taper because I want it to flow up into the longer hair. And you guys will see what I mean when I start to shape them up and it starts to come alive. I'm going to fast forward this part because you already seen what I did to the other side. So it's pretty much the same thing. Sit back and let you guys enjoy the music. I'll be back in a sec. Guys, let me tell you about this game. This game has been so beautiful to me. I love cutting hair. I love being around the people. I love the coaching. I just can't get enough. So when you become a professional barber, coming out of barber school, don't be hard on yourself. Don't be jealous. Don't be envy. What well, envy is, you guys know what I mean. And with that being said, it'll be okay if you ask for advice, it'll be okay to seek help because those who have come before you have sought help from other people. Alright guys, here I am cleaning my canvas, making sure everything is prepped, make, everything, make sure everything is blown off, prepping his hairline with a spritz, trying to make sure I get all the hairs that, to lay down, all the hairs that, that I desire to lay down, I want to get those to lay down so I can be able to give them a crispy lineup, man, because that's important, that's important, I mean a haircut is important, the fade is important, but but the lineup, it, it makes the haircut. And I think all barbers would agree. So I'm just going in on his mustache right now while, while that dries on his head. It's important to be symmetrical, guys. Whenever you're doing mustaches, vertical bars, front lines, behind the head. You're in control when you're behind the chair. Make sure you, you take control and don't be fearful. I always said this, man. The difference between a good barber and a bad barber is repetition. And you definitely got to put those reps in. Once you put those reps in, everything else will fall in place. I promise you. Don't be fearful. Go for your dreams. Don't overdo it and, and you know, hurt clients. But make sure you take care. Now I go in with the wall detailer. Yes, they're corded, but I, I find these to be the best because they, you know, they run very, very fast. I go in on the vertical bars. I started in the middle of it again and. and work my way to the left side making sure I keep it symmetrical even though his, his line is light I made it like that going in making sure they hit no problem you gotta believe in yourself man when you believe in yourself it reflects on other people because you've touched them at some point in their life, whether it's with a haircut or a good word. So always keep that in mind. You're more than a barber. That's how your business will grow. 
That's how it will thrive. That's how those people will look out for you. I flip the ear down, working my way around the ear, making sure it's crispy. It's important to try to keep the natural line behind the neck because when it grows back, people, we don't think people look at the back of our necks, but they do. Whether you're standing in line at the bank, wherever. People look. They notice. And somebody will be brave enough to tell you, and then you'll be pissed. So make sure you're taking your time on this. I go in with the Kiss Express. I got it mixed with darkest brown and black. And I know a lot of people in the comments will say it's not needed. Uh, it's overdoing it. But if the client likes it, I say go for it. I have a lot of clients that I don't do it on. But this particular client, he likes it. And the good thing about it is that I shaped them up first. So it doesn't matter when it goes away after a couple days or whenever he washes it out his regular tape line to be there. Making sure I get it nice and right. And one thing people don't know, when you put the when you put the oil sheen on the head, the dye will spread and it will look like a complete burst fade that was already dark. I go in hitting it with the razor, making sure the lines are sharp. I apologize, I didn't have uh, the magic pencil to give it that pop to his tape line, but I'll do it in the next video where I can show you guys, don't worry. And if you're not already subscribed, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Hit the bell, get notifications when I upload new, upload new videos, because I'm going to be hitting you guys with some bangers. I go in with some curly kick cream right here, making sure I rub it through the top of his head. Not trying to mess up the haircut, but just making sure I rub it in his head before I sponge it. I like to use the blow dryer because the blow dryer makes it dry faster and it makes it curlier faster. So you'll be watching me go in with that. Making sure I hit all over the head. Make sure you guys are going in the, the same rotation. No back and forth because you, you only confuse the hair and the hair will not do what you want it to do. You are supposed to be in control of the hair. And this is looking crispy, you guys. I'm telling you. I used to be one of those guys that really didn't believe in what I was doing because everybody else was doing it. But I found out when I really believed in what I was doing, I prospered a lot more. I gained a lot more. I had more abundance. That's why it's important for you guys to love what you do. Going in, hitting my man with the razor, getting him right. YouTube, this is the cut. I'm telling you, stay tuned. Lock in with me. I got you guys. I'm going to keep it coming with content no matter what because that's what this channel is about. It's about helping beginner barbers, intermediate, and pros. 